Magic with Selling Real Estate Rocks with another little uh, tidbit on getting along with agents. So you have that deal and the agent is just really not a nice person. And you find yourself very frustrated from the beginning because you guys just aren't getting along. And this happens more often than I'd like to admit, but you know, I have a couple of tips for you. So the first one is make sure you start off on the right foot. So when you have a buyer or a seller, particularly a buyer, and you have a buyer that's interested in a property, pick up the phone and call the listing agent and just say, hey, it's Alicia Essig with Banana Real Estate and I'm calling to let you know that my buyer is interested in your property on 123 Main Street. And you know, when, are you pre when can you present an offer? Um, do you have any other offers? Have you had any other offers? Um, is there anything you'd like to tell me about the property? What's the seller's preferred settlement date? Is there anything excluded? I understand you can get all of this from paperwork. I get that. And in the land and the world of digital communication, that is great, but human connection, just like why you're watching this video, human connection is important. So pick up the phone and, and start the transaction off on the right foot. If you have an agent that has actually called you and, and introduced themselves, hi, I'm, I'm so-and-so from such and such real estate company and I have a buyer that's interested and I'm looking forward to working with you, that should be a really great thing. Secondly, if for some reason you guys are rubbing each other the wrong way or maybe you know, you always have to understand that everybody is in this for the same purpose. You're representing your client and the other side and you have a buyer who wants to buy and a seller who wants to sell. And so please keep that in mind that you always have two parties that want to make this happen. And it's not our job as realtors to get into the way. Another tip is don't use personal prepositions. I, we, us because it's not you. It's not about you, the real estate agent. It's about the client. And it's the buyer, the seller. And you'd be, you'd be surprised if you switch your prepositions from I, we, you, they, them, to the client, <clears throat> the buyer, the seller, the property. It actually already diffuses the tone. So the other thing is, Lastly, if you are finding yourselves not getting along with somebody, again, pick up the phone and say, hey, Sally, um, I just want to apologize, even if you don't think you're wrong, do it this way. I just want to apologize. Am I doing something wrong? And the other agent may strongly say, no. Why? Why do you ask? And then that's your opportunity to be able to say, well, you know, your tone made me think you were upset, you hung up on me, you, um, your email seemed curt, you know, whatever. But it is so much better to get it out into the open and clear the air. I had, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. I had um, a transaction a long time ago with an agent who, um, I actually, I made a mistake. Um, I didn't respond fast enough or something like that. And, um, and I apologized and about two or three days later, this agent continued to yell at me and berate me for, um, for this mistake. And, and finally I said, I don't remember the agent's name, but I finally I said, can I ask you a question? Um, I, and I, I've apologized already numerous times for making this mistake. Um, is there anything else you'd like me to do or can we move on? And, um, and with that, she, she moved on and, and let it go. So it is important instead of letting it fester and bother you and get you all aggravated to get it out in the open, clear the air and move forward because it is not in your client's best interest. Do not share the information with your client about the fact that you think the other agent isn't behaving properly because all that's going to do is put doubt in your client's mind and you don't want that. You want 100% confident confidence in your client's mind about you and the entire transaction. So listen, when things aren't going well, and I know it's really busy right now, and everybody is going from here, there, everywhere, please keep in mind that the other side is dealing with the exact same thing, or you never know, maybe that's their only transaction and they are desperate for this money. You never know unless you've walked a mile in someone else's shoes. So remember that, clear the air, be open, be honest, don't use personal prepositions and you'll find your transactions go a lot smoother. Have a great day.